Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do an ellipse. So ellipse is having the major and the minor. The major they are referring to the bigger side, and then the minor they are referring to the shortest side. So in this case, my longest side is 180, my shortest side is 80. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to start with the center line. I'm going to start with my center line. Do you have center line using pencil 0 0.3? So just side center line. Alright, in this case, like my measure was 180. So it's gonna be from the set I'm going to measure 65 this side, 65 this side. My minor is 8, I'm going to measure 40, 40. So, uh, I'm going to start with 65 this side. I measure 65 this side. I measure 65 this side. Then after I measure 40 this side, because my minor is 80, I measure 40 this side. I measure 40 this side. And I'm going to name this point, point A, point B, point C, point D and this side I'm gonna call it point O after you join the in AP using a ruler just join the in AP using a ruler uh, join AP using a ruler and join AP after I take my compass I take the length of OB using the compass and I draw the arc until touching this center line. So you're touching my center line here. I'm gonna call this point point E. So you take a compass from OB, you draw arc until you're touching this center line, the vertical center line. Then you call that point E. Again, you take a compass again, you put a compass from E to E. Then you draw the arc until it's touching this line of AB. I draw arc. And just touching this line of AB. So I'm gonna call this point point F. After I must bisect this line FB. I must bisect this line FB. So I'm gonna put my compass there. Open with an half. I make an arc. I put my compass at B. I do an arc. Then after I must put the bisect line. So This is my bisect line. So my bisect line is touching my center line also here. I'm gonna call this point one. So it's touching my center line here, I'm gonna call this point two. Then after again you take a compass, you put your compass from O to one. Then you just mark this point this side. It's like a mirror from this point, just take it aside. So if maybe from each is foot, also from each is foot, it goes. Just took the point from O to 1. Then this side also, you put your compass again from O to 2. Then I bring it up this side. Then I'm gonna, gonna call this point, point 4. After I must join point 1, 2, 3 and 4 together. So 1 and 2 strand together. Now I must just join uh, 2 and 3. Alright, your line must overlap, it must be long enough. So after I join uh, 3 and 4, join 3 and 4, after I must join 4 and 1 again. 4 and 1. Let's join 4 and 1. So this one is a 4 center metal, this one. So because I'm going to have point 1, 2, 3, 4. So now you just take a compass again. Remember, 1, 2, 3, 4 is your center now. So I'm gonna put my compass here at one, then my ellipse must hit end here at B. So I'm gonna start from this point, from this line, until here. Also this side, I'm gonna put my compass from D to D, and I'm gonna draw my arc until there. So this one's like my boundary limit, where to start, where to stop now. So I use one and three. Now I must use two and four. So I'm gonna put my compass from four, 
my apes must end this side at A. Now you must check first if it's joining A is like this side, so before you can draw up. Because once you use not joining us, you're gonna lose marks for that. So like in this case, like it's joining nicely. Uh, yeah, it's joining nice. Let me join it. And I'm gonna join it like this. Then I put my compass again at four to C. So I just check nicely if it's joining nicely before I can draw any arc. So it's not joining nice. Let me just make some minor adjustment. Uh, Okay, now it's joining nice. I'm gonna now draw my arc until the uh, stretching here. Yeah. So thank you. This is how we draw ellipse. If you have any question, you can ask me some questions. Thank you.